Alright, I'm just gonna skip this again because we already know where this is heading. Mount Redtooth, its top littered with man made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the Champion of Light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Hopefully I'll get the other half of the message. Cause, or if I get the same message, then I'll know not to do what he wants. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. That's where the camera should be. If you guys didn't notice, it's a different time of day as well. A pretty little light just started blinking on my board here, and that means there's a caller out there. Shit, what am I supposed to taste it, dill hole? Oh! Shit, am I- Crap, I'm stuck! Where did he go? The radio turned off too. Hmm... This does not bode well. Come back here. Take that dill hole. Okay, there's a manuscript page in here. I think. I'll take all this crap. Nowhere. There you are. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. Hmm. I didn't read this one, so... The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged. Almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. Summer was the nearing, summer was end, nearing but it its end, over yet. but it wasn't. Okay. That was the wrong fragment. That's the one that gave him his power. So that's the one we don't want. Oh. Okay, I thought that just closed on me. We don't want it to be late at night, and we don't want it to be near summer ending. We want opposite, maybe? I got a feeling there's someone behind me. Where'd you go this time? Another page here. There are places where our world is worn thin, and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington. But there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. So maybe the darkness you fight in the first game isn't the only darkness that exists. I've seen the enemy, and it's me. I faced dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. Scrooge. He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. An evil caricature, a creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, half-truths and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh, a serial killer my dark half, brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Ok, 
Can't go back this way. Wait, why is he imaging a ray over here? This wasn't where it was the first time. Her car is in a different place. How did I know it was here? She's... Oh, no. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. I want to know how I got out of there. Alright, well... Lights are on in there. Maybe she's fine. Dude, aren't you going to question why the car is in a different place? Look, even the gates are forced open. Something's bad. Oh, shit. Hate Birdman. Especially attorneys at law. Why is it saying return to the telescope? Technically, this is my first time here. And I'm gonna be attacked by Birdman again. Wait, why are there eight shots? I'm pretty sure there's only six shots in a magnum, or maybe... Maybe it's an eight shooter. No, I want the manuscript page. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. It's you! How dare you! No, wait. It isn't you, is it? No, I, it's not me. I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I, I'll unlock the door. Thanks! <laughs> That worked! Time loops. Time loops. They make everything better there. Time loops. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin. Supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Yeah, I know you like slashing people and hitting them and... BUTT PLUGS! Like this. Right by the knife. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Pick up the butt plug. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this Why do you keep looking at me, Alan? Job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this. Let's stuff. see Alice in the center. 
Butt plug. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? No, that's why you're the worthless hack. Just because you take pride in being a worthless hack doesn't have any meaning in losing a little bit, did you? You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I... all right. Uh, let's get him in the Alright, two more flashbangs. Everything's going a bit quicker. Now I gotta get back outside for the coolant. Don't start it up yet. There's a problem with the coolant system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant by that side. If you can secure it, you should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. I'll explain it after. I got stuff I gotta do. Like, get that manuscript page. Hey Paige, how you doing? Um, okay, I don't have enough for that yet, I don't think. Nope. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. They won't stop me. They won't stop me. Alright, time to get on down. Can I slide down? There we are. Flare gun! Flare gun! Flare gun! Flare gun! Flare gun? Flare. Bam. I assaulted that thing like there was no other. These beings hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Doctor, can you hear me? I think we're good to go. Alright, I'll start looking for the signal. Please, head back. Okay, so you... Oh, the fence isn't enough to stop it. Here comes the car. I guess they didn't like that. Well, I guess the fence was enough to stop it. Shit. Nice try, Poltergeist. Oh, fuck. Uh, how am I to get past? Ow. Okay, 
Can I go past it yet, please? What are you gonna do after you're done taking over stuff? Oh! <laughs> Anything else? Come on, when are you gonna run out of shit to start throwing at me? Wait, is there? Oh jeez, I can be running up there? I'm an idiot. Oh! Oof! Oh god, this is getting rough. Rough neck base. Well, here come they. What do you think you're doing? Stop throwing stuff at you little juvenile brat. Anyone else? Thought not. Alright, we good to go? I'm coming. Did I get more flare gun? No, of course not. I wouldn't expect that though. Now the code is fixed, I should be able to uh, get Mr. S Find the yes, I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though. All if right. you don't mind. What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? Yes. I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife, but I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways, and I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. Assuming I believe this, why don't you simply... I don't know, write yourself some superpowers. It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really believe in this? Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. 
a path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be hangry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. Well, fuck you too, bitch. Another printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to go through this like three times.